What do we have here? Of course, Crash Bandicoot, the classic PlayStation game that really uh, sculpted my childhood gaming experience. This was the probably the best game that I ever played when I was around, I don't know, 10 years old or so. And we're going to be running this thing probably all the way through in a three-part series. We'll do the first island here. The second island will be... I don't really care to watch this. The second island will be uh, probably on my Twitch channel, which I just started, so that'll be kind of a way to get people involved on that side of things. And then the third island will end here, just kind of as a jump through nostalgic times. Uh, this is... This is a really cool game, and if you haven't played it before, I do encourage you to uh, get a hold of it somehow and enjoy it for yourself. So, starting off first, Insanity Beach. Very simple level, with the exception of one part, which you'll see here shortly. Mmm, boy. Mm, boy. By the way, uh, I'm not worried about the apples as much as I am the boxes. My goal here is to get all of the boxes. Get them on boy. Oh, almost forgot one. Yeah, they put these sneaky little boxes behind stuff they don't expect you to look. Uh-oh. Oh. Wow, we did pretty good. Okay, now we just gotta pop this one box. Alright! We did alright! Now it took about three tries, by the way. You didn't see the three tries, because that would be ridiculous, but, uh, the goal here is to knock all the boxes out. Alright! The most difficult part about this is gonna be not dying. Yeah, that's gonna suck. This is not gonna be a fun experience. And you're not gonna see probably 95% of it. There we go, we got a gem. That's the goal here. Which is very difficult to do. That was something that I didn't really care about at all. Uh, when I was... Oh, okay. Okay, so we got one gem. We're gonna try to do that for every level in the game. But I don't know uh, how much how much longer we can keep this up. These levels get uh, very difficult. Remember, TNT boxes count. As do Nitro boxes, actually. I don't know if those are... In... Yeah, those are in this game, too. So, there's gonna be a lot of very careful calculations going on. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I forgot about these bonus levels. I remember these. Yeah, we gotta come back to this level. Uh, I think the Lost City is where we get that green gem, so we'll be back for that one. Yeah, we're gonna... You gotta, like, jump up and then time it just right. We're gonna... We're gonna try it. I think I remember correctly. <laughs> yeah, it was close. A genetically mutated Venus flytrap. Now there's something under here that's not... Okay, no, maybe it's later on. There's a TNT box under one of those. Can you actually, like, move forward? Oh, you can move forward and backward. Okay, it's not two-dimensional. Yeah, I don't care much about the uh, apples. It's not really that big deal to me. And booyah! Not really worried about saving. Why did, he, why did he do that? Did I miss a box? No, we didn't miss a box. Huh. Alright. Did we do it? Did we do it? Third level. The Great Gate. I do remember it. Mostly, I think. Oh, I've gotten this like three times already. Oh, we're gonna get it again. <laughs> we're getting this thing so many times. Uh, is it gonna go up? There it goes. It's monkeys. Oh, oh. Yeah, that, that, that guy. I remember him. Gonna take my time. Don't wanna die. Actually, I'm pretty sure there's another secret passage here where you need a, a a floating gem. So I don't think we're gonna have all the boxes anyway. Uh huh. <laughs> Is that 19 lives? We doing all right for ourselves right now. Yep. See, we need the yellow gem. So that's all right. That's all right. Oh yeah, this one. This one is a. Uh... Just gotta keep holding down that down arrow button. Weave a little in and out. See, they're just warming you up there. They're just letting you know what you're about to encounter. Go, 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 go. Yeah, at least the camera backs out a bit so you can kind of see where you're going. Go, sprint! You can't go any faster than that and things catching on me. What the heck? I don't know if it matters that I'm hitting those boxes or not. I'm gonna do it anyway just in case the boulder doesn't knock those out for me. Checkpoint. Canyon, but okay. I see the apples are trying to help you out, but they're taking you away from the boxes. 
Uh, uh, uh. Why is it? Why is it getting so close to me? Why am I like? All right. Look at that. We're almost. We're almost ten percent complete through the whole game already. It's kind of hard to believe. Just for. We're almost halfway through the first island. If there's any level on the first island where I'll die, it's gonna be upstream. Just because there's water everywhere. I'm not liking these fish. These fish need to die. It sounds so dark. Oh, really? I don't have that gem? Okay, well, I can. I guess I can die. What the heck is this? Like walls of boxes. I don't know, what do you think? That took about three minutes or so, two minutes? I don't know, you guys don't know because I'm cutting through all the boring stuff, but I'm not moving through these pretty quick. We can get through this first island here in probably 30 minutes. Oh, Papu Papu. Fighting the boss is our first boss of the game. Apart from that boulder. I guess you could call that boulder a boss too. <laughs> Wait, you can actually Oh. You can actually stand on his on his throne right there? I did not know that. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, that's... I, I officially declare Papu Papu the, the easiest boss ever in existence. Dude, my fluid temperature is pretty high right now. 44 degrees Celsius. It's telling me that my temperatures are too high on my liquid. Probably gonna... Probably gonna turn that off. Alright now, Hog Wild. This one is, a. Uh, Another interesting level. Let's see, we're almost done with the first island, though. I think this is uh, the second to last level. The only trouble here is getting all the boxes. This thing has a terrible turn radius. Yeah, he like he's so slow at moving left and right. That was really close. All right, it's coming up. It's coming up. So this next uh, next one. Here we go. Not this one. I'm gonna this one right here. Ugh, there we go. Woo. I think that was the only difficult part of this map. If I'm not mistaken. And the very end is also kind of confusing, but you just have to know which which side to go on. Jump that one. The other one we go under. There we go. I do you remember this stuff? It's kind of weird that I remember this. Now this one we want to stay far right. Sweet. Give me that gem. Whatever that is, a diamond maybe? Give me that diamond. Oh yeah. You know, I was younger, I, I never I never got any of those like that. <laughs> it never crossed my mind. But now that I'm, you know, a bit aware of what's going on, I do want to try to, to finish this game 100%. Alright, Native Fortress. This is the one right here. This is the one where I'm not going to be able to get all the boxes right away, I think. But there are a few secret passages that we can navigate through. <laughs> Bet you didn't know that was there. Ah, see, it's not going to matter that we didn't die. Just as I suspected. We needed a red gem. Those are just teasers, man, yeah, because they know you can't go there yet. close. You know what I just realized? When I save the game, it doesn't save my lives. Because I, I went back down to four when I when I jumped back into the uh, Rolling Stones map. I had, to, I had to restart the game for a sec. That sucks. Oh, there was a... Dang it! <laughs> I didn't know that it was there. Okay, I know, I know, I missed a bunch of boxes, whatever. That is it, that is the first island completed, and it uh, didn't take very long. It was about 30 to 35 minutes of total play time, that you'd, most of it of which you didn't see because it would just be boring. And that's not what I want to just post to the channel, just me playing video games. I want to post the interesting stuff, the stuff that will make you sort of nostalgic, especially if you're around my age, back when this game uh, was in its prime, you were probably in the, you know, the, the console gaming sweet spot around the age of five to 10 to 15 or so. So with that, I'm gonna call it quits. We finished the first uh, island of three in total. Now the second island I will be playing on Twitch more than likely tomorrow night. I'm not gonna set that in stone because everything, you know, there's always stuff that comes up. Uh, but 
that's kind of my way of promoting the, my Twitch channel now. So if you want to watch part two, Island two, you can hop onto the Twitch channel. It is linked in the video description. I hope you enjoyed playing through Island one with me. So here's to the nostalgia. There's really no other reason for uploading these videos other than to uh, be entertained by stuff that once really consumed a big chunk of my childhood. So here's to it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in part two on the Twitch channel.